The spy swap was completed on an airport tarmac in Vienna, Austria. A chartered Vision Airlines jet carrying the 10 secret agents expelled from the U.S. pulled directly behind a Russian plane carrying four prisoners from Russia. From a distance, waiting vans could be seen shuttling the former captives from one plane to another as the spies literally traded places. Within 90 minutes, the planes took off. The 10 from the U.S. headed for Moscow, the four from Russia to London and Washington. The spy trade was engineered by CIA chief Leon Panetta and Mikhail Fradov, the head of Russian intelligence. At the same time, U.S. officials saw an opportunity to free long jailed Russian spies who had helped American and British intelligence. Most of them just for the money. And One of those freed is former KGB Colonel Gennady Vasilenko. Uh, Vasilenko was accused of working for the CIA after he was identified by Robert Hansen, an FBI turncoat who was spying for the Soviets. Like Vasilenko told CBS 60 Minutes correspondent Scott Pelley he was beaten by the KGB. Uh, two guys jump on me. They broke your arm. Yeah, bro arm and head. Uh, yeah. Cracked your head against yeah. the tile floor. Yeah. What did they tell you you were being accused of? Betraying my country. Treason. Treason, treason, yeah. Another of the freed Russians is former Colonel Alexander Zaporovsky. Zaporovsky has long been suspected of helping the U.S. identify two notorious American spies, Hansen at the FBI and Aldra James at the Central Intelligence Agency. Analysts say the U.S. made a good deal swapping 10 low-level spies for four high-profile prisoners. In a political sense, this trade is a win-win for both sides. From an intelligence perspective, I do think the United States uh, did really, really well here. Now, it's not clear where the four freed Russians will ultimately settle, but for now, two are in Great Britain and two more are here in the U.S. Katie? And Bob, why did this all happen so fast? Well, that's a good question, but simply put, it was the best political answer for both sides at a time when the U.S. and Russia are trying to reset relations. The U.S. officials felt the 10 spies really weren't worth the trouble of trials. They didn't have any intelligence value going forward. And the Russians decided to free mostly aging spies, some in poor health, who apparently committed their alleged crimes in a different era. Katie? All right. Bob, we're in Washington tonight. Bob, thank you.